Good morning, happy Saturday. Oh, feels so good to be the weekend. Felt like a really long week. I really want to make some banana pancakes. God bless you. It's for Cody and I for breakfast this morning. Well, Cody and I are off, I'm out of eggs. So Robbie and I are going to take another walk to the market. Our plan for the day is just to stay home. As you guys can see, I decided not to go to my sister's cabin, which a part of me regrets, but Honestly, it looks really cold up there and they actually got stuck in the snow. They literally got stuck in the snow last night upon arriving, pitch black, freezing cold. My sister was making fun of me because they all call me dramatic and my sister did an impersonation of what I would have done. It was very dramatic. Basically, she was like, you would have been so mad. Robbie and I are just going to enjoy being home today. I might do some tidying up. We'll see how I feel. Can't believe we're almost done, you guys. We literally, I mean, it's the day after tomorrow. It's day 30, so I'm gonna go out with a bang. I had my leftovers for lunch yesterday, along with my smoothie in the morning, I showed you guys, I didn't show you anything else from yesterday. My mind was just like not into the idea of filming. I told you guys that I had left him for the first time and it was actually so great. He did so good. Him and my mom had a great time at the house. It turned out to be a good day yesterday, but I just didn't feel like being on the camera. So for dinner, Cody cooked. He made taco meat and tacos for himself and I just put the taco meat in lettuce. He made homemade guacamole uh, sorry I didn't show you guys tonight I'll show you guys dinner um, okay he's getting fussy so we're gonna get moving I'll check in with you guys later sanding all these right now ones are all coasters these are these right here. coasters sets of coasters these are gonna be checkerboard Ooh, those all are my these, favorite all these ones going this way so fun these are more cutting boards. Those are the ones with the handles. More just rectangle cutting boards. And then these are all picture frames from the fall off. Oh, so cool. So, but I gotta sand all day today. All day <laughs> sanding. You kind of got to see a little bit of what he makes, but we're gonna actually show you the finished product really fast. You've never been in this room. He is a musician. He has lots of instruments in here. Here's all his records. Lots and lots of fun stuff in here. I always say that this is basically Cody in a bedroom. All the coasters. Mm -hmm. And then these are like the smaller cutting boards. This style. So pretty. Tools that I make. So nice. I'm sure you guys have seen we cook with the most beautiful cutting board. There's always the little logo in the background, but it's Cody's company, Bryce Woodworking. So he started the company in 2020. I will let him tell you more about that later, how he got into woodworking. He uh, makes cutting boards, coasters, picture frames. I mean, so many different things. If you want one, I will tag him in the description, his Instagram, we use them every single day. Anybody he's ever gifted one to, they tell us that, you know, you use it every single day. decided to just grab an almond milk latte while I'm out. It's from Dark Hall Coffee, which is really close to my house, next to the Coronado, which is a vegan restaurant. Highly recommend if you live in Phoenix. So good. We just got home from our walk. Cody requested two things, an orange juice, his favorite of all time. He loves these Arizona iced teas, which are actually super delicious. I don't know if you guys have ever had one full of sugar, but delicious. I got some eggs, got Cody his drinks. Ravi is just playing. Hi. I'm going to go ahead and make Cody and I some banana pancakes. 
I'm also going to do some bacon on the side. Pretty sure he'll probably end up putting uh, maple syrup on top of his. I'll probably just use two bananas because one banana made three big pancakes. So we can each have three pancakes, double the recipe. I'm gonna make half without blueberries and then half with blueberries. And I kind of am curious to see what he prefers because I really couldn't decide. I liked both. I don't know, I almost like just the regular better, but we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know what he prefers. Okay, I learned something today. For the banana pancakes, you want your your pan to be pretty hot before you put the pancakes on. I managed, but they don't look as pretty as they did the other day because I just put them on before my pan got hot enough and they didn't cook all the way through and they kind of just like mashed together. Make sure your pan is pretty hot before you put the pancakes on it and you definitely definitely have to like i use coconut oil I, I told you guys the last time i made these i use coconut oil to make sure they don't stick to the pan so you want to use some kind of oil in that way but i just put on the blueberry ones and i already can tell these ones are going to look way better you can see like my pan got totally messed up but it's fine they definitely did not turn out as pretty as they did the other day but they're still really good I tested them. I don't know why they didn't flip as good as they did the other day. Something was off in the mixture, but it's fine. Like I said, they still taste good. They're just really, really hard to flip. Maybe it's because I used a different pan. I might try the other pan next time. Honestly, it could have been as simple as that. Good morning and happy Sunday. We decided to wake up and grab a coffee at a place just down the street from our house called, it's called The Hive. Or no, it's called Coffee Window Bar. Home from our walk turned out to be kind of a disaster. Robbie had woken up from a nap and I knew he wasn't that hungry because he didn't have a long nap and he ate right before he went down. He just loves to eat right when he wakes up and I was like, you know what, let's just, we'll go. I'll feed him when we get back, he'll be okay. No, 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 he was so mad. Cody had to push the stroller with one coffee in each hand. I tried feeding him and it was just so hard to feed him while we were walking because it was super cold. So anyways, didn't turn out to be a great walk, but you know what? We're back home, he's fed, he's happy. Cody and I don't really have plans for the rest of the day. We were just talking about it and I think we're just gonna maybe lay low, have another day at home. Maybe if we feel like going somewhere in a little bit, we can, but I'll let you guys know. We have decided to take a little trip to Target. We just need a couple of things. Mainly what we're going for is, had an idea to close off the space from mine and Cody's bathroom to our laundry room. There's no good way of putting a, an actual door. So what we're gonna do is, I saw this really cute idea on Pinterest to do a curtain. So we're gonna go see if we can find a curtain, something that I have in mind. I wanna do like a color. So we'll see what they have and then just a couple other things that we need. So I'll uh, make sure to show you guys. This is the space where we are hanging the curtain. This is our laundry room. And that is the curtain. We just got a gold rod. Not quite sure how I'm going to feel about the pop of color because as you can see, pretty much everything in my house is like white, some form of white. But I really liked this picture. Actually, I'll show you guys. That's the image that I saw on Pinterest.
there. Okay, here's the first client of the day. We are going in and refreshing her balayage. Uh, she hasn't had it done since before I had my son. So when do you think I saw you last? Was it like summertime, July? Yes. Yeah, it's been since summertime since we did it. So it still looks so beautiful, grown out so nicely, but we're just gonna freshen it up, bring up her balayage, brighten her up around the face. I'll show you guys the after. I failed miserably. I got hardly any footage for day 30, which yeah. such an important day, such a huge day, such a huge accomplishment. And I failed at capturing my day 30. So I'm going to pretend today is day 30. I have a little bit of footage from yesterday. We woke up, I made a bunch of banana muffins. I went over to my sister's house for lunch. I had an avocado, some cashews. For dinner, we ended up actually going over to Cody's mom's house and she made us um, some chicken teriyaki with lots of veggies. It was super delicious, but I didn't get any of it on camera. It's fine, whatever. I'm not gonna hold it against myself. But today is the 31st of January and technically day 31. I'm still going, I'm still gonna continue to go. I really want to do a sit down and just check in, let you guys know what my successes have been for these 30 days, what I've noticed, how I've noticed my body change, the weight that I've lost. I really wanna like let you guys know everything that's going on with me, what my plan is moving forward. So I'm going to save that video. I have quite a bit of footage from the last few days, so I'm kind of just gonna compile it all together. And then moving forward, I think I'm gonna do like weekly vlogs, still healthy eating, some you know healthy meal options, things like that, you know, coming to work with me before and after of clients, like family stuff. So that's my plan. So yes, sorry about yesterday. I'm so proud of us. I can't believe we did it. 30 days, I cannot believe how fast it flew by, for me at least. So hopefully for you guys too, if you were joining along. Um, but I am going to finish up with my client. She's processing right now. Head home, feed the baby. He's home with my mom. So sad, but I'm, I'm happy for him. He's like totally fine. And then coming back here it's going to be a late night here at work and tomorrow is also going to be a really long day at work i'll make sure to show you guys the after of this client she's got the most gorgeous hair i can't even believe how beautiful that before was of her hair i hadn't seen her literally since probably like june or july so and she hasn't had her hair done anywhere else so the grow out was absolutely perfect and gorgeous just what we want to see and she will be nice and fresh today so i'll show you guys in just a little bit here is our gorgeous after such pretty hair you guys can see we kind of just went in brought up her balayage freshened it up we did a nice bright money piece brought it up around the face so 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 pretty 